Here we are. Storybook land. Open Saturday, two to nine. That's today. We got Santa and Mrs. Claus welcoming us in. And we have this lovely castle here where we will enter inside storybook land here in New Jersey. I'm so, so excited for this. I wanted to point out these really awesome vintage Santa Claus decorations hanging up here on light poles. Very, very awesome already. And this garland hanging up on the on the uh, fence here. I have to touch it. Ugh. The little hollies on there. So far, very cool. Oh look, there's a little elf up there in the on the spire. Yeah, already seeing quite quite a lot of things in here. Okay, and we are paying for our tickets now. About to head inside. Got a map, and it looks like we have a gift shop in here as well. Look at this. Oh my goodness, so this is in the gift shop, and it looks like these are all Shirley Temple dolls. But I just think it's like crazy that they're all, it's just all dolls, all Shirley Temple, all old looking. Wow. These absolutely come alive at night when everybody leaves. There is no doubt about that. And look at this. They even have a Storybook Land spirit jersey here. They have ornaments too. All right, I'm going to definitely have to purchase, I'm gonna have to purchase a few things on the way out for, for sure. greeted with just this amazing view amazing. of all of this stuff and <laughs> look at all of these cute little seats and tables they're little ice cream cones that looks like mint chocolate chip right there yeah <laughs> and maybe strawberry hello everyone and welcome and welcome back tampa j is really? back with me again yeah. today and we are at storybook land here in new jersey and it is already overwhelmingly awesome what do yeah. you think so oh, far we just walked in and i'm like blown away yeah this place is cool yeah it is really cool i should mention it's my first time here it's tampa jay's Mine first too. time yeah first time here. here at storybook land yep so uh we have no real idea what to expect here nope. uh we know that it's um it's a family theme park which again kind of means Kind of more for children, but uh, we're big kids at heart. So I was, yeah, I was just about to say that. There's so a lot of fun uh, to be had today. we're we're gonna have a lot of fun. It's already we already made a friend here. Yeah, clouds. So uh, <laughs> yeah, so so excited. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna walk around, check out everything, see what they have to offer here, and uh, yeah, let's uh, let's keep going. Let's clown around. Yeah, let's clown around. <laughs> Where we just did that uh, introduction here is underneath this uh, huge, what looks like strawberry uh, birthday cake area with uh, some dripping chocolate icing and all of the cool candles up at the top. And uh, looks like maybe you could uh, have your, your birthday party here. Everything about this park so far I absolutely adore. And these, this is one of the things. I don't think, is this a trash can? Oh my God, yeah, it is. That's definitely a trash can. Um, all right, I'm very, very nervous about this, and not just because it's disgusting. Don't just stand there. Push the door and put in some more. I'm gonna stick my hand in here. It doesn't sound like I should. I don't know, it sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> No, nothing happened. Okay, good. And we found some penguins over here. Looks like they're having a good festive time. I'm just kind of coming around the corner here and you can just see like it just goes on Whoa, all the way park. back here. This is a 
this is a gorgeous park. It's a gorgeous park on a gorgeous day. We picked, you picked a great day. Yeah, yeah, I, I sure did. I did it on purpose, so, yeah. yep. Little Tittle Mouse Tommy? No, Little Tommy Tittle Mouse lived in a little house. He caught fishes in other men's ditches. I don't exactly recall that uh, nursery rhyme, but there it is. And that must be Little Tommy, Little Tommy Tittle Mouse who uh, doesn't have pupils in his eyes. And just across the way from that, we found Goosey Gander's castle. This cute little castle right here. And there they are. There are the geese. Looks like we got another display here. Bunch of ice skaters. Got some snowmen children here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There's a big guy. Oh, that guy's creepy. Big guy up in the corner there. Kind of reminds me of a character from the Haunted Mansion there in the corner. Yeah, it does. He just needs the dog. He just needs a dog and a lantern. Yeah. <laughs> and then this person, this little child here, just kind of going she's back and forth. Yeah, I can't tell if she's, she's like, falling. She's slipping on ice. Or, oh yeah, probably. Maybe that's why her face looks kind of kind of busted. And it looks like here we found part of Santa's workshop. And uh, we've got some elves. Elves in the back in there. And it looks like they looks like they actually enlisted the help of uh, of some reindeer here as well. That's pretty smart. You've got a nice looking wooden uh, uh, train there. Oh, and Santa. Santa's in there. Oh, Did you see there? Santa? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, oh, he's, okay. he's, he's, actually, he's actually in there with the elves right now. So he just walked around the corner and saw this. It's called Santa's Fantasy Flights and they're all on Santa's sleigh and they're going around in a circle. Rudolph's in the middle there, his nose is blinking away, and there's even snow! This is honestly one of the coolest things I have ever seen in my life and I'm not even exaggerating. That's very cool. And the best part is that they seem to be flying potentially over Africa? because there's an elephant there, or maybe that's Asia. I can't remember, I'm, I can't tell the difference between the elephants, but yeah, there's, there's just a, there's an elephant here. And it looks like we have come across a work zone for storybook land. There's a little clock in the station right there. We got a really cool uh, steamroller right out front of the attraction. And yeah, it looks like it's themed to uh, to some construction vehicles. And here's some work people doing their thing on the side here and uh, at some point I think we'll see the those uh, bulldozers coming in. They come around the corner. Very cute ride. This is actually a ride that I could ride. I could ride this ride. It goes very slow into the station. No one's gonna wave. Nobody's gonna wave. Yeah! Gotta wave! Woo! And if the ride's not your thing, you can always uh, pay some money and uh, hop on the mini digger here and uh, do your own. Oh wow, it actually moved. But that's pretty cool. I mean, you're having a pretty good time anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is good. Like yeah, it. living living your best life right now. Right now, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. It's going. Yeah, you're doing stuff. I don't know why. Okay, now I'm stuck. Yeah. Alright, I'm out of here. Okay. <laughs> and just, just beyond the signage here, we've got some huge, uh, I don't know. I'm not actually sure what they are, but uh, they are clearly Phillies fans. This one's got a uh, baseball bat here. That one's got a pennant, and uh, they are they are quite large. Okay, Tampa J has read the signage, which I never do, and he's going to explain what these are. So these are the the mascots for the Philadelphia Phillies, Phil and uh -huh. Phyllis. Uh -huh. That sign says from seven, 1971 
1978, and I believe they used to sit at the stadium, but uh -huh. if they didn't, there's definitely some bleachers over there. Oh, some, some okay, yeah, the right Philly right stadium, in the corner there. On the way here uh huh. Okay, very yeah. cool. Yeah, so it Go pays to pays to have someone someone along with you do that that uh, actually reads the reads the <laughs> signage. Happy to help. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm going to push to close. I have to say so far, this whole experience has been very overwhelming in a good way. This is a beautiful park, absolutely gorgeous. I knew it was gonna be awesome, but I had no idea it was gonna be on, on this scale. So, um, Absolutely, if you are in the New Jersey area, or even me, I live in Hershey. Um, it's about a two and a half hour drive, and it is worth it. And we have barely scratched the surface here. So, awesome, awesome park. We're having a great time, so let's keep going. And it looks like they've got some old timey cars here as well, which is always fun, fun to do. And right across the way, the iconic bubbles, right here, the coast. Just behind the and as Tampa J was just pointing out, they actually have a a big boy, an iconic big boy statue there that you can drive around, just like you used to be able to in real life. Probably not in those kinds of cars, but uh, but nonetheless. I just noticed that the train actually goes into this shed here and there's some creepy dolls and things inside so uh, we absolutely need to we absolutely need to ride this ride and here's the other side of the shed and I just want to catch it now in case when we get on the train I'm sure it'll be going by a little too quickly but it looks like there is a some uh a drummer person there and uh, another another train there with a little face on it so yeah super excited this is gonna be awesome okay so we have found little red riding hood and, and the, the big, big bad, bad wolf. wolf oh so, no that way yeah let's uh let's go let's check this out my goodness this is uh, i am legitimately go. terrified right now oh no oh it's okay. Tampa Jay is going to go first. Grandma in here. Grandma's in here. I, I'm sure if we push this button. You ready? Yeah. All right. I'm excited. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh. Hey, Grandma. Oh, what teeth you have. What eyes you have. One day, Little Red Riding Hood's mother asked her to take a basket it's of goodies the whole story. to her grandmother. <laughs> Hurry along and don't talk to strangers, her mother said. Oh, Grandmother, what big eyes you have. The better to see you with, my dear. Oh, Grandmother, what big teeth you have. The better to eat you up, my child. Oh my gosh, it just got but scared. But you're riding <laughs> play out run. of the house through the woods to her run, home. Run, 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 and just to take another quick close look, I just wanted to point out that on top of this being completely horrific, uh, her legs or the wolf's legs are like really, really short, like comparatively, <laughs> like to like the upper half of the body. So yeah. that's like making this even worse for me. Great and like somehow it's paws at the, at the end there are like sticking out of the quilt. And um, yeah, really, really horrific, but also giving me Chuck E. Cheese vibes. Yeah. Which. Showbiz pizza. We need but to go to that at shows some you my point. Age. Oh, yeah. yeah, let's go to Yeah. It. I've always wanted a Chuck E. Cheese uh, a partner. Partner, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I could do that. Yeah. Okay. That could be me. There's one in Tampa. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Next video. <laughs> okay. And speaking of Chuck E. Cheese, this is called the TikTok clock drop cute little drop ride for the for the youth and they've got a clock up at the top there and they're spinning around Woo! and there they go dropping away a mouse went up the clock and there he goes you waving at him yep 
<laughs> Hi, Mouse. There he goes. That is so cool. That is adorable. Yeah. He almost made it. Yeah, he made it to the top. Of course, I have to point out more, yet more trash cans here. Very adorably themed little trash cans here. And over here is another little display of uh, some very scary looking puppets. So let's see. Push the button. And there they go. I found puppets. Oh, puppets? Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is adorable. Yeah, it's really cute. Wow. It's playing some really pretty music too. the music for it as well. And of course I have to point out all the carousels that we see and I just want to get it before everyone starts climbing aboard but nice classic looking uh, carousel. Just got some uh, some horses up there and a little sleigh. So very nice. Tampa J. Yeah. Do you like tea? I do, and I, I could really use a pot of tea right now. Well, That's then right. you're in luck. Oh, look, right there. We just realized, we looked in here, we were expecting a display. It's actually a legitimate concession stand. Like, there's people in there working right now. But look how cute this is. Look at this little spout here. Looks like it's pouring out Christmas lights, so that's going to be adorable at night. It's got some pretty painted flowers up there. And... Looks like you can uh, get some popcorn here. Nope. Nothing happened. <laughs> it's a panda one, but I don't think, I don't see a speaker, so I don't think it's going to say anything when I put my paw in there. Also, they have pretzels, apparently. Alrighty, it looks like we have stumbled upon the three little pigs. And of course, we all know that story. One of them builds a house of straw, one of them builds a house of sticks, and then one builds one with bricks. But uh, there's something that I had to point out. We see what looks like a tree, and then the big bad wolf here, who looks uh, pretty, um, pretty ferocious, actually. But if we look over here, the interesting thing to me is how cartoonish these three little pigs are. But then again, let's look at the wolf, which is pretty realistic and honestly kind of horrifying. So, um, very interesting. Number three said Nick's on tricks. I will build my house with bricks. He had no chance to get him to and work and play those What in the world just happened there? Here we have the Little Red Schoolhouse. And it is exactly as it has uh, advertised. And it looks like an outhouse on the side here, too, where Mary's lamb hangs out. Oh, and there it is. Mary did have a little lamb. It's hanging out in the back there. They legitimately have like old desks. Yeah. That probably used to be in a legit schoolhouse. I'm not saying this isn't legit, but there he is, Mr. Washington, above the chalkboard. We went through Valley Forge on the way here. You want to open? Do the classic Ghostbusters. Yeah. De -de 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 and it looks like you can actually maybe even feed the lamb if you have uh, if you have the coin for it. I found a creepy clown, another one. They are lousy with clowns here, and I am very much enjoying it. How do you feel about it? That is giving me creepy vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah me I'm not, too. I'm not the biggest fan of clouds uh -huh. since yeah. I was a kid. Yeah, makes Steve, Stephen King's It had something to do with that. The monkey is uh, kind of creepier than the clown to yeah. me, but uh, both uh, both very creepy, and um, I'm not mad at it. But overall, it's cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, very cool. Don't get stuck. I'm getting stuck. Here. Don't get stuck. I don't want to have to cut you out.
So we are back at the entrance of the park and directly across from it, as we, you may remember, there's this huge mother goose statue. And she's got her goose here. And it looks like you can actually sit on a chair made out of books right in front of her and uh, take, a, take a photo. Looks like she's about to uh, spill some ice cream or something on top of you, so that's fun. And of course I have to point out all of my gingerbread pals. They've got a whole family here, it looks like. Very adorable, what a great photo opportunity, again. <laughs> Perfect, nailed it. Yeah. Alrighty, and now we are heading into the middle of the park. And uh, this, we already see an albino whale here. And of course it has to be Moby Dick. There's a little oh, door. Gosh. Maybe that's where the water controls are that's coming out of the back yeah, of the Yeah, probably. I don't know if we're supposed to be back here. It's locked. No, we met oh, there's, oh, there's, yeah. there's, there's other people oh, in here now. Oh, yeah. Oh. Are you in the wheel? Very cool. <laughs> I don't recognize this fairy tale. It looks like it's called the Mary Miller. And it looks like it's got a little shack here. Let's see if there's something inside. I see a button. Oh, yes, there is a very creepy man. I'm now crouched down. I'm gonna press the button. And it uh, looks like he's got some flower sacks in there. Do you wanna see? Come on. You see him in there? He's got some flour sacks and some wheat. I think he might be making bread. It's pretty cool, huh? It looks like up the hill here is where Jack and Jill's little bucket is. Up the hill. And uh, looks like you can take a slide down to the bottom, just like Jack and Jill did. That looks like Jack right there. And as Tampa J just pointed out, there's Jill. Jill came tumbling after. There she goes. Looks like we found Humpty Dumpty sitting on top of his wall that says Storybook Land NJ. Very cool. Another excellent photo opportunity. And fittingly enough, right across from the teacup ride is Allison. Tampa J. Oh, no. yeah. Is oh. Alice in Wonderland. It looks like some kind of walkthrough thing, so I think I think we're gonna go check that out. Let's walk through it. Yeah, let's walk through it. And we're greeted with the white rabbit here. Looks like he is missing an ear here. He's seen better days. Yeah, but that's all right. All right, we're heading in, and um, we're just gonna walk down in here. There is Alice. And everything looks uh, like it's black lighted in here. Very cool. There's some um, another display here with all the all the pretty flowers that she walks through. And we found the Cheshire cat here with Alice. There's Alice herself, with Tweedledee and Tweedledum in the background. Oh wait, there's okay. a line at the end of the tunnel. I'm oh. glad to be back when things are really what they seem. It looks like we have come up to a maze of cards. All the cards look very happy to see us. Hopefully we make it out of this maze alive. Oh man, which way, which way, which way? I think this way. Okay, we're, we're legitimately lost. Yeah. I'm just gonna follow the children. Follow the kids. They yeah. Know. All right, and it looks like we made it the to the other side. We did it. And it looks like we found Sleeping Beauty's castle. 
And uh, what I didn't realize is that we are apparently in California at, uh, at Disneyland. But the thing is, is like this doesn't look, this doesn't look like the pictures. It doesn't look like the castle up out front at Disneyland. So I am a little confused, but Sleeping Beauty is definitely in there and it looks like her, her prince is uh, hovering over her face at the moment. And it appears that uh, Storybook Land has a plethora of animals here, which I, I didn't know and it's very cool. It looks like in here we might find some peacocks. Okay, and there they are. There's a peacock up top of that little shed there. And one down in the, in the bottom poking its little head out. It looks like we have a cute little uh, bounce ride for the kiddos with a very creepy giant up at the top. Looks like we found the crooked man in his crooked house. I think I'm gonna actually check this one out. Let's... Take a look. All right. I'm gonna have to, oh God, this is so many things in here, clearly for children. I finally found a mirror. It's a fun house mirror. Ooh. So we were just uh, commenting on the fact that this theme park, and actually a lot of the theme parks around here, have a lot of clocks, like big clocks uh, hanging around. And um, we were looking at this one, and it actually says Ocean City National Bank. So it almost makes me wonder if they they must have brought this clock over here from from there to to be in storybook land. So but that's yeah. Looks like we have stumbled into kind of a sea theme spot of the park. Up over there was looked like maybe kind of a water water thing that they had over there where that lighthouse is. And um, we've got a really cool submarine right here. I see Puss in Boots right there. Something called Pirate Panic. That looks like someone's garage, so that looks fun. I walked around the corner to see what was pirate panic because it had to be more than a garage and it sure just kind of looks like a looks like a garage and look we found the billy goats gruff there's some goaty goaty goat goats up there and it's really cool because you can pay some coinage and uh get the food out of the machines and then send it up the bucket to the goats and it uh, looks like the goat is already very much anticipating that food. He's biting on the rope and trying to get it up there quicker than, than, it's, than it's going right now. Uh, he is biting the rope. Like, he's trying to pull it. Like, he knows what's coming. Hurry up. Here he comes. Hurry up. Hurry up. Almost there. Almost there. <laughs> Stay on target. Stay on target. There we go. Yay! That is awesome. <laughs> and there's just no end to the to the animals here. This one appears to be a a fallow deer. Very beautiful. There's a goose. Goosey goosey goose. Goose 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 goose. He hears me. Goosey 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 goose. Honk. For the deer, they don't have a bucket system. They have a slide system. So you get your your food and you put it in the hole and then it goes down the chute to the deer. This 
uh, map of the United States and it's all made out of uh, license plates. That's pretty neat. Ding. Ready for service at the gas station. What did that do? It rang the bell. Yeah, it rang the bell. Ready for gas. And I was noticing over here too, I like all the signs for the, uh, all, well, all of these old, old timey signs, but especially the Mountain Dew one. Drink Mountain Dew. It'll tickle your innards. Now, before we get started, there's a question I have to ask. Have we been good? Yeah! It means listening to your teachers, and most importantly, it means getting along with everybody. I want you to know that before I came up here, I got a call from the North Pole. Everything is moving along. The sleigh is ready. In fact, it's half packed. I like to see it. I was just thinking that, yeah, he's got quite an accent. Yeah, I like it. He might, he might be a local. But before we go any further, I think we need a little Christmas magic. I think we do too. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Magic! Here's, Here's his wand. He's got his magic wand. We're going to count to three very slowly. After we say three, I want you all to scream Merry Christmas as loud as you can. So let's go, okay? One! Santa waved his magic wand, and everything is sparkly and beautiful and Christmassy. And there's the tree at the very beginning of the park that we saw, all lit up now and sparkling. There's also some snow. snow. Yeah, some snow falling down as well. And quite frankly, it's uh, it's kind of cold enough for it to actually snow. But um, thankfully we have got coffee. And of course it should be mentioned that you can actually meet Santa himself uh, here at uh, Storybook Land. So um, all you have to do is just wait in this line here with all the snow and uh, go in and uh, let him know uh, what gifts you want. Here at the exit where you walk out after meeting Santa just in case you forgot something that you wanted to let them know about that you wanted, there is a mailbox here for uh, for your letters to Santa and uh, even an igloo. Okay, so we are at something called the Jingle Bell Junction and it looks like there's quite a lot of uh, train-like activity going on in there. Oh yeah, and there's a bunch of, there's a bunch bunch of, of buttons, buttons down here. Look at this, it's a train set. Look. There it goes. Santa stopped. We but this one's going. There too. That's a, it's actually there a bunch of buttons. Whoa, there's a trolley in the middle. that doesn't haunt your dreams, nothing will. You can't even tell, he's off now, he's sleeping, but you can't even tell that like his eyes open and his mouth opens, like, it just looks like a harmless, normal Christmas tree. And um, at any moment, like we can't find a button, but at any moment he's gonna, he's gonna open his eyes and sing and it's gonna scare the absolute crap out of me. But uh, while we wait for him to, come alive. I just wanted to point out that at this train spot there is a dinosaur. One dinosaur in the middle in the middle of the trains. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Jingle bell, 
It doesn't help too that uh, he's singing in like a a really low tone. Very low. Very low. Yeah, and I think that just kind of adds to like the the creepiness of it. Jingle bells, very, very scary. Did you like it? I I liked it because it was yeah. like creepy and weird. I called it the scariest Christmas tree of all time. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. hands down. We're just noticing like how beautiful it looks now at night. That's one of the cool things about. Uh, going to these parks, um, being able to visit the parks during the daytime and enjoying it during the day when it's light out and then waiting until it gets dark. And it's basically, basically a whole other theme park. Alrighty, and then over here, we saw them yesterday in, um, uh, well, I, I keep wanting to say meat form, but that's like such a weird way to say it, in real form, but uh, here they have them in a creepy animatronic form, all of the uh, reindeer, Santa's reindeer. And they have even have some uh, elf keepers in the back there, tending to, tending to the reindeer. Not sure what he's doing behind his butt there, but uh, yeah. Look at this guy. Looks like maybe he's uh, washing, washing the reindeer's butt with uh, that, uh, with that soap there. And uh, Here's Rudolph, also getting his uh, his butt washed. I really don't know. Uh, I really don't know what it is about reindeers and butts with me, but um, here we are. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, and we're right here at the train. <laughs> yeah, and and the two. Uh, people with the cameras yeah, here, are they just doing? like awkwardly filming. And also the entrance to uh, Alice's Wonderland has a beautiful archway of flowers and uh, and a butterfly up at the top. It's so pretty. And Phil and Phyllis are sitting here amongst all of the beautiful Christmas lights. And um, I noticed earlier as I was walking past them, Phyllis's butt seems to be detached from her uh, upper half there. So maybe it's not just a reindeer and butts thing. Maybe it's, maybe it's just a butt thing in general with me. And very appropriately so, right outside of the Bubbles uh, roller coaster, there's there's the man himself, or the dragon, I guess, <laughs> himself. Bubbles, you can't really see his face, those lights are out, but uh, he has a wand, a bubble wand. Somewhere, I've heard this song somewhere before, I think. Sounds very, very familiar. up of the, this beautiful archway which honestly so far is probably my favorite of all the Christmas lights just really really pretty and then further on back all of the different colored lights back there thank you for not smoking sign <laughs> really uh re Tampa J you're not supposed to smoke oh, here the no, sign no, says no. no smoking I don't smoke <laughs> <laughs> Here's the peacock enclosure. The beautiful little peacock here opening its feathers. 
gorgeous. Check out this really cool wreath uh, entryway here. That's uh, the lights are going to the music. Yeah, the shoe house is very, very nicely lit up. I like the colors that they used for the for the outside. So I think I have to officially say that of all of the parks that I have visited so far, especially for the holidays, I think that I think that this one is my favorite. I, it's just so beautifully decorated. Every single inch of the park is covered in lights, multicolored lights. Um, it is just gorgeous. And there's so many displays and rides and things to see. Um, definitely my favorite out of all of the parks. It's, it's just been amazing. And of course the company has been pretty good too. Thanks train. Alrighty, and currently we are, we have been actually waiting in line for the J&J &J Railroad. Established 1996, so only just a little bit uh, younger than I am, actually. And um, we've been waiting here for just about 20 plus minutes or so, almost 30 minutes, actually. If there's one thing that I have learned about going to these amusement parks and whatnot, everybody, everybody wants to ride the railroad. So, um, yeah, yeah, they really do. So, um, if that's something that you're looking to do when you're, when you're coming to visit, I would definitely, we would definitely recommend uh, getting here pretty early on because uh, they're, they're pretty much just always going to be a line. This train was definitely made for kids. I'm, yeah, I'm barely, definitely. I'm barely in here. I'm like, I'm taking up most of the yeah. room. I'm sorry about that. We are very much squished in here. Yeah, squished is the word. Train. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. So pretty, oh, yeah, it? this is gorgeous. Can you see all right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't see the, the 
birds. Yeah, bird in flight. Yeah, we're, we're almost back. Yeah, that was, that was a, pretty quick. That was a short ride, all things considered. Coming through. <laughs> this is one of the best trades I've ever taken. Yeah, agreed. Oh, yeah. All right. Now the fun part of getting getting out, making your legs work. Oh gosh. Good. Yes. <laughs> okay. And I think with that ride, that train ride, we're gonna go ahead and make our way out of the park and head back to Hershey. It's about a two and a half hour drive back home. And it was definitely worth the trip here. We had a really, really, really awesome time. This is a gorgeous park. I can't Some say days. that enough. Yep. It was absolutely worth it. And I'm gonna be very sad to say goodbye to such a beautiful park, but uh, something tells me we will be back. Side attraction, or every theme park I've been through, you exit through, through the, gift the gift shop. Through the gift shop. My dolls. And look how pretty the outside of the park looks. It's all lit up. Santa's up at the top there. And um, I have to mention too that the sign, the main sign here for the for the entrance of the park, is really awesome as well. Alrighty. I think that is going to do it for tonight. We're going to head out. It is really, really cold. It's cold. Yes, <laughs> but we had an awesome time. Did you enjoy it, Tampa Jay? Oh, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. And thank you so much. It was your idea, you know, originally, Storybook Land. And, you know, I've always wanted to come out here. And I'm glad it worked out. I had mm -hmm. a great time to answer yeah. your question. Yeah, good, good. I'm so glad. Yeah, it's, it's been on my bucket list. It's been on his bucket list for a while. So we figured, well, why not? Let's... Let's go, and we had a magical time. We really did. So it was magical. Out yeah, here. it definitely was. So it's a cool place. Um, again, if you have a chance, if you're here in New Jersey or even just in the area, uh, I would definitely recommend checking it out. Me personally, I think it is the best theme park that I have been to in a long time, and definitely for Christmas stuff too. It was just off the charts. Amazing. Off the chain. <laughs> like, yeah, off exactly. The <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and head back home now. But uh, thank you all so much for coming along with me. I really appreciate it as always. Uh, be sure to check out uh, Tampa Jay's stuff. Oh, thank you. And his channel and whatnot. Um, I can't say enough good things about it. Um, he has so much awesome content. Uh, like so I was saying, you. like I was saying last night. Um, so I'll put all of his information down below for you all. Uh, he made a video here as well as you may or may not have seen. So yeah, Thank twice twice the that. fun. Yeah, of course. So, it's so nice of you. Thank you. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna head out now. But again, thanks all for coming along with us, and uh, we will um, we will see you all next time. Happy holidays, everyone. Happy holidays. Bye bye. Bye bye. I was just heading out when I noticed this entrance here that we didn't go to. And it's actually a lot more themed in here. There's like tapestries and a suit of armor and some really cool lanterns up here and something about pushing the gates when the music plays. So uh, that's pretty cool. Oh, and an ATM machine as well.